What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. I'm proud to have helped over 500 students pass the ASVAB just this year, and you're next. So, we're gonna be doing a distance rate time word problem here, and we actually have a class on this. Two hours long, where I answer all your questions and help you out tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. So you can use that link, or the link in the description, or if there's a link or a card that pops up there, go ahead and use it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started here. So in this problem, it doesn't matter what kind of word problem it is. Remember, you must, you must, you must start with the question no matter what. It doesn't matter to me, it doesn't matter to anybody, really, uh, what the information is unless you know what it's useful for. So what I'm referring to is, you know that feeling of reading through the first sentence there and then the second sentence and then you have no idea what just happened, you just blank out? Yeah, that's it right there. We don't wanna just read the information if we don't know why it's useful. Starting with the question gives us purpose here. We know exactly what we're going for. So with that said, let me go ahead and go over here. That way I have a little more space to work with, but let me highlight this. What was Corey's average speed? So that right there is already a key phrase. That right there tells me average speed, boom, I'm already thinking if I'm looking for average speed, that's distance rate time all day, all day. So again, I'm doing distance rate time. So distance equals rate times time, right there, all right? Right there, nice and easy. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this, and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're gonna get access to recorded lessons, you're gonna get access to guided practice just like this, worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online, and lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety, there's no pressure, because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more, so take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program, and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. And we're looking for the rate. Remember, average speed refers to rate. Speed, the rate at which you are traveling, that's what you're looking for. And for who specifically? Be very careful, read the information. Corey. We want this for Corey. So, this is the second phase now. First phase is again just answering, okay, what is the question? What are we looking for? Step two, we're gonna gather our information to see what we can work with. It's kind of like saying, hey, our job right now is to put up this painting and let's go ahead and see what tools we have. That's what's going on. And so as a reminder, um, at any point when you are enjoying this video, go ahead and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. That way we can keep helping you out. But let's keep going here. Let's start with the information. Corey left the city library and drove toward the beach. Okay. No real hard numbers there, and that's okay. This is giving us context in the story. So Corey left the city library and drove toward the beach. Daryl left the library two hours later, driving at 30 kilometers per hour to try to catch up to Corey. Okay, so was that information useful? I don't know yet. I don't know, but it says Daryl left the library two hours later, driving at 30 kilometers per hour. So that wasn't for Corey, that was for Daryl. So let's go ahead and write that information, but making sure that we're marking it as Daryl, okay? So for Daryl, we'll go ahead and start it right up here. So for Daryl, the information that I have is left two hours later. So two hours after Corey. So two hours after Corey, and let me go ahead and give myself just a little more room here, a little more room to work with. So after Corey, Okay, 30 miles or 30 kilometers per hour. Sorry, I'm American. So 30 kilometers per hour. So right there. So 30 kilometers per hour. And what kind of a unit is that? Remember, a rate is a unit that basically blends two things or two units together. In this case, we have kilometers and we have hours. And so with that said, that is going to be a rate. That's a speed. We're going to write that down. Next. To try to catch up to Corey, after driving for four hours, Daryl caught up to Corey. Okay, so caught up, so four hours later, four hours later, catches up. Sounds good. 
All right, so there we are. Four hours later, catches up. So what does this information all mean? Like you're looking at this right now and you're probably saying, okay, hold up. Uh, I don't have a distance. I don't have a time for Corey. Because if we're focusing specifically on Corey right now, you know, that's the man of the hour. That's the person that we're talking about here, right? And so if you're, take, if you're checking this out, you're saying, hey, if I had the distance and I had the time, I could solve this equation for the rate. I could, I could. But what just happened? We read all the information and we're talking about Daryl, 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 Daryl. Oh, okay, how do we use this information? And this is where it's important to understand the story. This is where it's important. So from start to finish, what happens? Corey leaves the city library, drove toward the beach. Okay, so Corey starts driving. So now we have some information about Corey driving. Darrow left the library two hours later. Okay. Then it says, after driving for four hours, Darrow catches up to Corey. So ask yourself real quick. If it was two hours before Darrow started leaving to catch up to Corey, and then four more hours until Darrow actually caught up, what does that tell you? Two hours plus six hours, or four hours equals six hours. <laughs> I love those mess ups. But yeah. Two hours plus four hours gives you six total hours. That's how long Corey was driving for. So I can tell you that right now. So for Corey, the time, six total hours. And the reason I'm counting total hours is because if I have the total distance and the total time, then I can find the speed or the rate for the total trip. So that's what we're doing here. So we have six hours total because again, two hours, four hours, that's how long it took together, six total hours. Now you're asking, what about the distance? How are we supposed to find the distance here? Well, again, it's all in the story. Think about it like this. If Daryl and Corey both left from the library and they both catch up or Daryl catches up to Corey, that means that they drove the same distance. Think about it. They both start at the library. They both find each other at the beach. Not really find each other because basically Daryl finds him there to catch up to him. But long story short, hey, you can find the distance for Corey by finding the distance for Daryl. And so what's Daryl's distance? Well, let's think about the total driving time only for Daryl. So if we're looking in red over here, the total driving time was four hours. We're not going to count these two hours over here because Daryl was still in the library. It was after those two hours that he actually started driving. So Daryl drove for four hours and this is Daryl's speed. So if you complete the distance equals rate times time equation for Daryl, you're gonna have the same distance for Corey because again, they drove the same distance. Both started the library, both ended on the beach. So distance equals the rate times time right there. And so 30 times four, what's that gonna give us? My ASVAB party people, that is gonna be 120 kilometers right there. And guess what? That's the same distance, same distance for our friend, same distance for Corey. Remember my math party people, acing the ASVAB is not just about watching me do it. It's better that you practice as well. It's about watching, practicing, and mastering the material. And the best way to do that is to start off with my free practice test because it comes with video solutions so you can try it out yourself, see all the mistakes that you've made, and then keep raising your score with those video solutions, organizing yourself so you can lower that test anxiety and raise your score. No excuses, it's completely free. So go ahead and click the link there or in the description. That way you can get started, raise your score, and do everything you need to do. Let's ace the ASVAB, but let's get back to the problem after you're done signing up. And so with that said, we are now able to fill this in equals rate times six hours total. We can fill this in. We're good. We can rewrite this as 120 equals six R and we can divide both sides by six. And guess what we get my party people that rate for Corey will be 120 divided by six. That's going to give us 20 kilometers per hour. Booyah right there. And we're good. So if we come back up here. The answer will be B. And so, like I said, my party people, look, word problems are all about understanding the story. So that way you can address what you're looking for and connect the pieces to the story together. That's what it's all about. 
And if you want to learn more about this and if you want to feel confident all, all the different types of distance rate time word problems, go ahead, check it out right over there. Use that link or the link in the description to go ahead and check out the ASVAB All Access program where you'll get all the support you need until you pass. That includes all the live classes, all the practice that I offer, my study guides, and access to me whenever you need me. So with that said, my ASVAB party people, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in tonight's class. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.